Okay, so this session I'm going to be working on working on UI elements. So, as far as I'm aware, uh, my I've kind of been falling behind on the UI because I've been doing a bunch of other things. So, in particular, I believe resources are not very descriptive. Right, each of these resources isn't actually showing anything to do with the resource itself. It's just showing the, the basic information, you know, the, the fact that it's a resource, it's loading state, and the ref and use count. Nothing to do with, like, what's actually inside of it. And I guess I don't even have anything for armature whatsoever. I don't even have that. So I need to, yeah, like, they're all just the same dang thing. That needs to be fixed. So, to begin with, let me have a look at what I got going on for... I don't have anything in the armature, so I'm going to have to add that. That's going to be the uh, first protocol. I need to add armature resource items. But I also want to improve how I'm handling resource UI display at the same time. Which means I need to look at how I've done it previously and then like figure out a way to figure out how I'm going to improve that. So I do implement those new changes in the armature and then I backport it to the others. So yeah, this has one I am doing, include, registrate, no, collision shape, okay. So first of all, I don't really need to say render. I could just say I am doing that. Okay, so this is how it's going right now. And as part of the registration, Okay, so this is the first big item that I'm going to change up. Is that rather than saying like, uh, you know, I'm going to render full collision shape and just giving it the entire resource, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to change this up to actually just take the collision shape object, like the actual resource detail struct itself. And then what is currently being done inside of here you know, the rendering the resource information that is instead going to be um, done outside, like here. So what will happen is like, you know, I'll have, you know, faux, you know, uh, sorry, I'm doing resource, blah. And then I'm going to have like, if, you know, loaded, then do that. And that's just going to be just focused on the data of the resource. That means that gives better flexibility and better portability in the future. If I decide to change up re how resources are structured, I can just like move this around without having to undo the full resource, blah, 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 blah. It should only be very specifically focused on collision shape portion. That's it. I imagine the same thing would be already happening down here. Yeah, yeah, like this. Like, it may be, it may have a bunch of other bookkeeping stuff, but it should only be focused on just the rigid body, just the fat. So, on armature, and another thing I have to do is to add the create info, which I don't have whatsoever here. So if and def, I am GUI, like that's how I do it down here, right? I am GUI, yeah. Armature HPP. Define it, and if so, we've got the guards in place, and then we have oh, armature strafo armature create info. Great. Then I have oh armature, which is our armature. I can't. Why do I keep doing that? Const. I'll do. I'll do it for const for now. P armature. I'm not sure how oh, void and do create info. Const star p. Uh, just create info. I'm just going to kind of generalize the that a little bit. Then we've got to go to the other side. Armature dot cpp. Got that. 
one for the moment magic okay um, I need to include I GUI. so we have the separator we say that this is a full armature no, I already know. I'll just that. And okay, I, I also need to include type itself, right? Backup simulation armature. I'm going to need the other one. For the create info, but open that, and this is what we got. Hmm. A bunch of nodes, a bunch of animations. Okay, what's in the for? What's in this? Hmm. Okay, I'm not going to say anything about that quite yet. I need something. Text, let's say. Um, let's just say the count of. So with P resource, I know what it is. I want to give armature dot size. Unsigned in versus unsigned long. So it's like unsigned long. No, um, long unsigned, yes. Animations, same thing. That's good enough to start. So in here, I have, to, I have to go to the bring up registration. So what happens is, if I recall correctly, I have I register elements, components, resource, and loaders information functions for doing them. So I need a new function after components, which is going to take in that's components, that's resources. A little bit different. Resource ID. Bow armature. So we're going to go through auto star. The armature pool. Want that. We're getting it from bow simulation. Get resource pool. P simulation. And I need the type, which is full bring up structure type, structure pool. Okay. If this I can kind of put them together. Okay. Resource, resource equals P 
equal find uh, resource ID if resource not null handle and resource type resource is open up structure type armature just that then we can go into the new idea which was scrapping those <sighs> I need to include uh, resource I am GUI resource that so first of all yeah we want to have them combined. So I am to render resource of resource, and if if that if the state of the resource is load state loaded, then we can go ahead and do this the sub type, which is going to be I am doing full armature that with source get data of resource. star so do I just need to do that and this is just because I don't have it No, this wasn't it at all. Get out of here. It's just undeclared here. Mm, okay. This doesn't even make sense because if I included because I need armature I need the actual that that would have a forward declaration that would have yes there we go so that should give me a lot more detail on well first of all it'll give me any detail on armature and will will not uh, build uh, Uh, first, whatever the hell I did there. I just didn't add this to be compiled, did I? Is that it? That's it. Armatures afterwards. In the list. Yeah. Yeah. Armature, right? Nope. Yes. Aha. Uh -huh. That's good. Well, that that's okay. Hmm. Okay. So, do I want?
How do I do create info? I mean, I don't really create info is. So if I bring in because it may not be the create info that's already that's currently there. It may be something else entirely. So create info would be different, perhaps. Would I have okay? Okay, drop for, uh, create info for, for the moment. Let's say okay. I want to uh, bring more detail in for let's say the animations, right? Like I don't want just the count. I want some more information off of them. I need to like be able to expand like this. Oh, that that's just broken. Good job, me. Somehow. Cool. Okay, I'll, I'll <laughs> put that one on the uh, on the to do list. But I want to I want to be able to expand and reduce. Redu expand and collapse like a little thing of each of the animations so I can actually iterate and give even more information which means like I, I, how do I do that because that collapse expand is currently part of that do I have any good examples windows No. Okay, it's, it's something to do with that. It's something to do specifically with that. I'll come back to that. Like I don't have, okay. This is why in I'm GUI, I should have a demo. And that I do. And if I recall correctly from way back when, I do have it as a separate static library. Okay, so the symbols are going to be automatically exported, which is good. So I need to link it into down here somewhere. In I'm GUI here. Okay. Okay. I need I have an editor mode. Uh That's off, but I want to be able to toggle. I want to. I want to integrate IAM GUI demos, but turn it on and off, so I can actually like open and see what options there are at any time, instead of me having to like constantly attach and detach and do a bunch of what what I'm about to do right now, basically. If that, and if that. so if that is the case, this is the wrong location. Here's the right location. This and do we demo? Bring that in. So it's linked in. Now, how do I bring stuff into here? You register. Okay, I have. Distinct classes that register themselves with I'm GUI state and I'm GUI state then. So, for example, save. Mm, here, class type, register, deregister, rendering menu elements and custom UI and a bunch of other stuff. Okay. So, here we go. I need a new thing, which is just like I'm GUI demo.
that and that. Move that over. And this will be compiled using that switch as well, on and off. Which includes these two. that I only don't need these I don't have simulation state to do with this rendering the custom UI yes uh, do I have anything else I don't think so I uh, at the moment no I won't so I need this I need to put that here I need to include include indui.h and then I need these demo and demo and demo and demo I don't have this one right now nor this one that's great I need to include this and I have this function now how is this going to work in I'm GUI demo Bunch of functions. This looks like it contains most of them. So let's find show demo window. With that, which has a bunch of sub windows. Um, there's no header, but as long as I'm, li I'm linking in statically, so the, the the symbol will be exported. So I should be able to find it and link it in. So I can just uh, do this, right? Do I need this? What was this used? Hmm. Not sure. not so that's fine I don't even know where this is coming from where does it even find it just from oh it is actually here okay I'll take it so if I include um, uh, CTP uh, not as part of that sorry I want to do oh if that's the case I also want to have a specific definition flag a, a defined flag uh, target compile definitions because this is being linked down into right the main application right that's being linked into the full engine lib and everything that's brought along is public. So, yeah, that's going to be just private. But this will be public. And I'm going to define a flag that flag that says, you know, I'm doing show demo. Which 
which means if I get down to the application in here, I should have a little thing that says, hey, uh, if def that, and if I say, hey, ho, I'm doing demo, demo. And then on the application side in here, I have the same thing. Sorry, demo dot register UI. Show me this working, please. Mm. I didn't see it working because I haven't. Uh, come on, new option. I go with demo. Armature state, blah blah. blah. All right, it's going to change up a whole bunch of things, isn't it? Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Right, if, okay, so that's trying to compile. Which is good. Excellent. See, what I want is probably something like this. Like a collapse, expanse collapses. Although probably not highlighted like that. It's like another one. Configure it. Ooh, this makes a bit more sense. Maybe I have that one for like <clears throat> the top level and then just these to go deeper and deeper. Much like this. And if I just disable on the demo. <clears throat> A whole bunch of things recompiled, but I mean, yeah, I kind of have to. No demo. Yeah. Okay. So first of all, I'll put that up, which is this, this, this part down here. Demo and demo. Mm-hmm. Not yet, not yet, not yet. Ooh, yes, and yes. Really, I haven't changed this at all this year. I doubt that, but okay. Yeah, just have a long year on that one. And this one. Uh, before I go any further, actually, there should be a mode in CMake lists be able to kind of like link this option to the other option. I gotta just quickly mm, double check it. Hmm. Make option. Uh, yes. And yes. Okay. So you make the dependent option. Option help text value depends force. Makes option available to user if depends is true. 
When an option is available, the given help text and initial value are used if the defendant's what does a force do? Uh, it will not be presented and will always have the value given by force. Yeah, okay. So do I actually need to include anything or I could just do C make a dependent option. Dependent option. Which is I'm going that value depends on editor mode. normally off. Okay, does this work? Ooh, okay, don't know where this is coming from. <clears throat> Am I supposed to see make dependent option? Is this like from somewhere else? Does this work? Is this like an include thing? That is just a copy of their website. Hmm. Same thing. Uh, how am I supposed to bring it in? Show me. There's nothing in here. Okay. Um, is, is this it? No. are not helping me whatsoever. Include that. Well, that didn't copy it at all. Yay, there we go. Rip that off. So if I check C, C make, then we've got that in, blah, 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 that's gone. Actually, it's still completely there. But it's also like, got a bunch of other stuff going on here. Showed up there at the bottom, top right. This is a new one. Debug. Okay, we just uh, yes, 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 yes. Whatever. Full coverage. Not. Oh, I'll keep that in for later. Extra sanitizer is always good to have. Okay, while that's going off, we're going to update this with that. Okay.
Google and Demo. Build. Okay, I need a better name for this. Just I'm GUI demo. one can be done. Blah. Okay, great. So I was here. We got demo, we got demo. Ah, uh, yes. Well, actually, I wanted demo because I wanted to go search for configuration. configuration to configuration to configuration. Okay, so this must have been the highlight one. This is the smaller one. So what I want to do then collapsing header Tree pop. Okay, no, tree pop is on a tree. But this, okay. So we have animations and we have the count. This becomes if. Collapsing header. Yeah, that's not going to work, is it? Okay. What about this? How does this work? That's also got a label. Hmm. equals animations plus this standard to string of this and then we put that here key string great Okay, we're inside. We got the text where we were going to say like the, the count, which is how you still. Then I have to go through a four list, right? Yeah. Four auto cost and iterator animation. Going through those, and I need the name of each animation. Is that I am doing tree node? It's an if as well. If that. Then I already have that. So what, what else is in an, uh, in the animation node? Duration ticks per second. Okay. Why 
0.2f seconds. Oh, I don't know if it's that because duration in ticks per second is different. I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah. Uh, animation dot duration. I don't know why this is a double actually. And then we have animation channels. Hmm. Not sure about that. So for the moment, I'm just going to say LU animation dot no channel set size. Does that work as I am hoping it will? Animations count. <laughs> ah! Tree pop. Uh, mismatch. Okay. Uh, I can fix this. If that, then I can... Oh, I did already have the count. I don't even need that then. Mm. And what can I do on the other side? What was the other thing? Armature node, get out of the way. Actually, no. Test armature, animations. And they've got each animation down there. That's the name of the animation. Duration, ticks per second, and the number of channels that's animated. That's fine. So we've got the self curl that's playing up here. We've got the bounce going on down there. Ooh, yeah, okay. It's coming up quite okay. Uh, hmm. I'm not. Entirely sure. Like maybe the faux armature should be the thing that's the that's under the header, uh, the collapsing header. Because then I'd also have like the the create infos underneath that, like the the desired create info and the loaded create info. I think. Maybe, 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 maybe. Oh, and I, I still have the uh, regular stuff above it, right? The regular actual resource stuff. Yes, I do. So that's the regular resource stuff. This is the faux armature specific stuff. And then I need to create info. Mm, yeah. I really don't want... Mm. Okay, let's, let's change this to be tree. So this is... A tree node, and I also want to pop this one like that. Does it go? It does indeed go down correctly, as I expect, as one would expect. So, 
the next part is the create info. Let's see how this is going to work. Mm -hmm. So we've got these two. I wouldn't need a separator. If it's just going to be under, ooh, yes. No separator, because instead it's going to be if. Under all of this. Collapsing header. Amazing, magic. Do I have a second armature I can test this with? So I have this singular armature. So yeah, faux armature, then we get this stuff underneath that. Ha uh ha, -huh. uh -huh. I like this. But do I have another armature? I don't think I have another armature. So I can't test if like I have an armature here and another armature and I open this, like will it, or this, will it actually open up on both ones or just this one? Not sure exactly how Angui deals with that. But there I do I do have uh, multiple shader things. So what I'm going to do real quick, run away, run away, run away. Resource libs I'm GUI shader. Here we go. <clears throat> That's currently doing that. That's not going to be great. If uh, I'm GUI collapsing header, blah blah blah, we say hey, you know, faux shader. Under like that. Because I'm not sure if the name, if it's like the open and closeness is related to like maybe just the name key as expecting all keys to be unique or something. So we got a shader and got another shader. So we do that, we open up one, two, no, they are separate. Okay, that's good. Perfect. So back to armature. Uh, create info. So we don't need that. Um, rather than that, what I'm going to do is, if not that, then we're just returning. Alrighty. Make it a bit more readable. So to loading thingy majigger, we got this. We've got the file name, we've got the root node, and we got some animation import information saying the file and the animation names that we're getting stuff from. Oh, they're both here. Okay, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, okay. create info file name great
that. Tree node of animation grenade LC string. Tree pop. And then we gotta go through the four. Then we gotta do like Yeah, I'm importing from I'm doing uh, if the node uh, animation dot file No, I need to string that plus animation dot file. That is what's going in here. C string, blah, blah, blah. And we'd have to go through like a list inside of here of uh, just the animation names, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, that's a whole bunch of stuff right there, which is grand. Hmm. Now, how do I do, okay. Yeah, I don't know. Create in, because the trade info on the object that I'm registered with, bring up registration, which is where I was doing this stuff. It may not be part of this at all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get like if I'm going to for the moment hope for bring up I am going to assume it just for now just for now I need to create info equals oh, Expensive like pro resource info decrement ref count resource uh, create info and then I need to do info armature create info blah blah blah. Realistically, I need another function that does like, I'm sorry, where, I, what? Realistically, I need another function that deals exclusively with resource create infos now. So that, 
that, that. Unless, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. It'd have to be separate, yeah, like a completely separate thing. Let me just go through and see, like, if it's if it's type, then print it out. Yeah, I think so. Mm. Get full resource create info get data create info. And this is going to complete because it's a void star, right? Yeah. So I need to actually convert it to from star like that, right? Okay. And for the moment, I need to absolutely make sure that that type get back in there <sighs> yes getting there hmm I'm not so sure about this part though hmm I'm, I'm like I do need to split out resource create info out of here but I'm not sure how like would I have to like <clears throat> pass in another function here like another context and function to call like if you're looking for resource information go here I mean of course I have to add it to register and deregister elements yeah that makes sense but then do I want to have like the collapsing header in here? Would I rather have just the plain text and then have whether or not it's a collapsing header located elsewhere? Like rather have the collapsing header out here. So I have, you know, collapsing header for the, the, the data and then the create info and then the loaded create info. I think I think I would and then just go back here just 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 inside of armature it literally just has yeah okay so that's what's going to happen here and then out 
here. Here we would have if loaded. Something along the lines of, let's say, can I have a string? in here that says, you know, resource type, where is load state here? Maybe it's so small, or maybe just I have it inlined. I'm not sure. No, no, no. I'll just kind of put it here, top of here. It doesn't really have anything to do with this. It's so small. It's just one one <clears throat> name. I'll give it away. So, yeah, switch. Bean for state. thinking of now is I kind of do something along the lines of because I'm thinking this If I'm doing collapsing header, collapse that, and then I do something along the lines of standard string. take two string of the state which is that great. it equals that res data header plus equals that and then we say hey I'm going to be collapsing header is this dot C string do 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 that gets us to this We just don't have, I just don't have, I'm GUI here at this point. So maybe. 
B. We do this. Then we have, you know, alpha create info. Of which, you know, maybe, 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 maybe. Quite possible. <sighs> hmm. Okay, question. Where is this called from? Hmm? Do I need to actually render like <clears throat> the like this top level resource information from here? Whoever's calling this probably has better information, right? If I go back to this is displaying a resource data. If I could just like limit displaying the resource to just displaying the actual resource data itself, specifically just that, and then similar for the create info, and instead have all the other surrounding stuff spat out at an earlier point, like here perhaps. This looks like a solid place to put it. This would make a lot of sense. This already has other stuff, such as the editor ID, the entity information and its ID string is already here. The editor ID, which is the actual string name, is also here. So I can put that stuff here. I don't have to pass the resource ID out. Yeah, okay, that is actually a little bit of a thing because I'm all I only have the resource ID, not the actual resource location itself. Okay. Okay. Why do I only have this? I'm going through resource list. I'm only providing, okay. Through this resource list, I only have the IDs provided. Why? How do I get these IDs provided? How exactly am I listing these guys? Hmm? I am doing it not through actually going through the resource uh, pools themselves. I'm just going through the indices. And skipping out the ones that are that are currently have been recycled. And so I, I go through to the max value and then I skip the recycled ones. Okay. And I'm doing this every frame. And I'm just clipping through the stuff. So I do not have any actual raw resource like location information, like handles. I don't I only have only have their IDs. That's why I'm I only 
pass that in through here. Okay. And I don't handle the case where resources are removed because there is no resource removal yet. Is there? I only have like find and add or find and add in each of these uh, pools. Yeah. <laughs> Neat. Neato informationio. Okay, I just have no idea how, okay, I really want to do this. I really, really do want to like bounce this basic stuff out of here, if possible, back out to the calling context and limit this to only just doing this. But I don't have that information at this point. I also, at that calling context, don't know how to look at pools right now. So I'm kind of forced to put this stuff here. I mean, I could, as part of faux resource, the top level one. No, no, that's not going to work. I don't know. I actually don't know. I don't know. Okay. One thing I do need to kind of look at is I need to check. I don't have the ability to pull out even in a const manner. I can get the act, the current crit info. I just can't get the other create info. The uh, loaded one, right? Which I should have in here. I do have a loaded create info. They may be different, but I'm not sure. In fact, why would they be different? If If you set a new create info, it should automatically t attempt to load it. Yeah. So I'm not going to deal with that. So I just have two items, just that and the, the data and the create info. Much like this. <laughs> okay if the data type itself is armature then that means create info is for the moment this but it, the thing is the create info could be from a different type of create info like you could have like right now i just have a generic one this armature create info is entirely based off of um Uh, asset importer, asimp right now. But there could be other create infos that 
produce the same armature type. You know, a, a, a loader specifically for FBX or... I don't know. Maybe, maybe. Like an audio. Uh, yeah, you have an audio clip. It's brought in through different importers where you have a create info. The audio create info for one that brings it in via, you know, a WAV file, one that brings it in through MP3, Opus, AUG, whatever. So I still do need, okay. I still need one for different create info. So that is going to be separate. So this can still stay, stay mostly the same. Armature type, bam, create info. You got to go into another function of some sort. But by this point, you no, you know you you're going to have a handle. You're going to have a resource create info handle to work with. So, at that calling context of which I'm still actually in it. Whoops. Am I? Ooh, I don't think I am. Do 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 armature boom. Ah, back here somewhere display. Okay, resource list. Mm -hmm. MP registrar display resource. Which has that and that. Simulation state. So then what you want is a pass it a singular function and context and function. I mean, I'm in exclusively in the C++ world anyways from I am GUI. So I can just pass it in like a Lambda function. Ooh, yeah. Display resource, display resource. goes deeper into this resource list no so it's the simulation i'm going to register this is the thing display resource so i need another one here it's going to be like That's all it's going to be. It's just going to be just that. Because that's always going to be available. Then. Ooh, I can't do that. Because it's already going to be, this is, this guy's already locked from here. Unless I can do a recursive mutex. As much as it absolutely, I want to make absolutely sure. So where is this display resource? Okay. that sorry not that create info okay we got that we go back to this create info we need to go through four auto function lists I want to find if iterator dot go through it dot and provide the resource
So rolling back to this, we need Just that. So we got that. That's going to be passed in. We're going to have this is going to be added to here. That and that. Yeah, it's just missing from here now. That's great. Okay. So that's going to be that. It's going to be that. Then we're going to have a function down here. Then we're going to say, hey, you know, if um, that is the type we're looking for, then we can go ahead and say, hey, you know, I want to do this stuff. And I'm not going to do that. Not quite going to do that, nor that. Well, what we are going to do is we're going to call and we're going to have a little function that's going to take that in. So it's like, you know, standard function, void, blah, blah, resource, that, right. That is going to be new. That is going to be added on to this. 
this, at the end of this, resource function, man. include functional. And perhaps sometime in the future I will uh, attempt to Uh, make it seeify it. For right now, C plus plus is going to it's going to work just fine. So about that, we got that, and then we got like the auto whatever this object is. want to go through, you know, yeah, do I have a stand reason to make this standalone? Maybe. Maybe, 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 maybe. Not, not entirely sure. But at the moment, I can probably do this. So we got that. And that. This is incorrect because this is expecting another function now. Sorry. Here. Luckily, there are only like two other locations where this is even uh, used. Four locations. Would this work? Will it work? Boo! So what's going on here? Let's say I'm right about here, hmm? Bam. And I'm rendering. Create info, bam. Yeah. And it's not all null handles. We're going inside of here. Great. Ah, perhaps. Okay, here's an idea. Here's it. Here's an idea. How about I actually, you know, pass it in to be used. Wild idea. Amazing. So now I've, you know, completely create info is detached from the resource itself, as I was hoping it would be. I'm still not entirely sure about the data, like how this. Hmm. 
Hmm. Can I disable, perhaps? That should be something I should check out. I'm doing tree node flags, right? Show me what they are. Aha. How to get out of here. I don't have like a just a temporary disable on it. It has to always. All right. Oh, that's actually another thing I'd have to do. I'd have to put in and do a Do I just not have this? I just may not have this. I just don't have this at all. I never perceived that I could possibly ever want to actually render create info whatsoever. I mean, who would have? Oh, not HPP, just H. Okay, what information do I want to pull out of here? Probably the type, the type information will be good. And the ref count, and that's about it. Because I don't actually know what type it is at this point. So. And that's about it. Very simple. Then rolling all the way back down to armature. We'd want to have that somewhere. No, not quite here. Here. Info resource create info create info.
show me show me the stuff perfect and then I just need a separator there type that and that okay oh that's actually something I want to add here for the full render resource I need to add the type git is loading Test armature 1000. This has got a different type. Different type. Yeah. Create info. 2003. Animation. Alright. This is all coming together very nicely. So I think this is the, the hard part, uh, like all the interesting creative development work around this. All that's left is to just basically copy this pattern and add the new create info things for all the other types, because none of the other types have any create info in them. Well, they basically have no details either. Like I did, like, like I just showed like a moment ago, right? There's just, this is the only thing that's kind of somewhat fleshed out. All the rest is just the basic information like no special details to for anything else. So I just got to add that. And that's just a whole bunch of busy work. That's not very interesting. So that's not going to be recorded. This is just, again, like I'll do the same thing over and over and over again. So I am going to call it good on that for now. So until next time, cheers.